Culture and context matter. So how do you get the community participants and youth? Uh, sitting around that council fire is what I like to say. It's a way that I bring in, uh, it's very participatory, everybody's voice matters. I might know evaluation so I can facilitate or synthesize and pull things together for the next time we get together, but everyone's voice should count. Um, we want all of the culture context and rigor to happen. Uh, without it, you don't have multicultural validity, you know, because you know, you've had these instruments, you're like, what is this? Is this stupid? we got to ask these people this? I mean, have you ever had ins? Yes, I can tell by your faces. So you want to make sure it meets and matches. There's no reason you can't say, could we modify this to this? This would work better for our community. You can make a scientific argument with people about that. Your instrument doesn't generalize or translate well to our community. Would you mind if we updated a few of the questions? Here's what it is. Um, cultural and contextual evaluation helps create shared responsibility. It helps support accountability. It improves the project effectiveness. You get real voices and real people involved instead of just, oh, we've got to fill this out. And that's why you got to be careful about, and I am, what you ask for, because you don't want to over-ask for stuff. What's the most important stuff? Be simple, um, and then um, you can look at short, middle, and long-term uh, impacts or ways that you have to change programming if things aren't really going great.